Welcome to our first tutorial of Mesh Surface for SOLIDWORKS. In this tutorial we will go through the installation process. Before you start using Mesh Surface, you need to have SOLIDWORKS installed and a working license. Before you install the plugin, you need to actually exit SOLIDWORKS. After you have downloaded your installer from our website, you can put it in a temporary directory. I put it on my desktop for now. And you just double click and start your installation. It's just a standard installer and you follow the instructions until it gets installed. Now you're ready to go. You can now start SOLIDWORKS. In our demonstration we're using SOLIDWORKS 2019 but even if you have a higher version, it should work in the same way. As you can see now, in my example, SOLIDWORKS is loading our plugin and it's um, properly installed. Then you can just press your part. If the installation process goes well, you will see a new command bar in the SOLIDWORKS environment, which is called Mesh to Surface. In some cases, it is possible that you don't see our um, bar immediately. So what you need to do is just select Tools and Add-ins. Then you need to scroll down until you find an add-in which is called Mesh to Surface, as you can see on the screen. Make sure that the checkbox is enabled, that Mesh to Surface is available for SOLIDWORKS and make sure that the option for startup is also checked. This will ensure that SOLIDWORKS will load mesh surface every time when it starts. To show the command bar, you just right click on one of the tabs and then you should see mesh surface here. Select this option and you will see our command bar here. As you can see, everything is disabled and you cannot start. Even if you evaluate the add-in, you need to provide a license. The license button is available and you just press. You need to enter your license key. Right click and paste it. Then you press activate. The software will take this uh, license key and you, it will give you a message that you need to restart the software for the changes to take effect. Double click again on SOLIDWORKS and start the software. Now, if you create a new part, you are ready to go. You can see Mesh Surface available. You can click on the button for the online tutorial. Probably all these uh, buttons at the time you watch this video may look a bit different, but generously you are ready to go. You can start by importing a mesh and start making your reverse engineer. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.